Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Virtual Preschool. I am so glad you have decided to join me for circle time today. Let's see what day of the week it is. The last day of school we had was Wednesday, Thursday. So today is Friday, yes. So let's move that rainbow arrow down to Friday. All right. Who remembers the name of our month? April, yes. April showers bring May flowers. Now, I don't know what April snow brings, but it's definitely not May flowers, right? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and count the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, what comes next? Twenty-two, and let's look at the pattern. Umbrella, umbrella, flower, flower, umbrella. What's next? Umbrella. So we have a number, oopsie. Twenty-two with an umbrella on it. All right, that was yesterday. That was a threes class day. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. What comes next? 23, all right, and umbrella, umbrella, flower, flower. Umbrella, umbrella, what comes next? Flower, yes, so we have a number 23 with a flower on it. All right, so let's say our whole date. Today is Friday, April, 23rd, 2021, and guess what? We only have like just over one week left in April. I can't believe it. So check with your parents or grandparents and see if they can tell you what month comes after April, all right, before we get there. All right, so let's see what the weather is like today. Look out your window and see if it is partly cloudy cloudy, sunny, windy, rainy, stormy, or snowy. And if you check out, so excuse me, step outside your door to see if it is burning hot, hot, warm, cool, cold, or freezing cold. And don't forget to check your weather app to see what the number is that goes with the temperature. All right, so this week we've been talking all about Earth Day, right? We read that book about Isatu, who saw a pr the problem of plastic grocery bags being thrown on the ground, right? And she came up with a really good solution, which was to use them to make purses and sell at the market, right? It was a great idea of a way to reuse something that has been uh, thrown away as garbage, right? And then we read another book that had all different kinds of ideas for ways you can help to take care of our planet, right? Things like turning off the lights when you're not using them, reading books instead of watching TV so you're using less electricity. Remember the picture of those smoke stacks that had all the smoke coming out of them at an electric plant, right? Because a lot of electricity is still used by burning coal, which makes lots of pollution go into the air. Walking instead of driving, a, ri driving or riding in a car. Uh, what else was there? Picking up litter, right? Not littering. Don't throw gar garbage on the ground. Um, buying food that is locally grown, so it's not having to be transported in trucks across the country, which pollute, which will pollute the air even more. I'm trying to think what else was in there that were good ideas. They were all good ideas. That's what I can think of right now, though. All right, so let's see what our book is today in the mystery envelope. Let's see what it is. Oh, 
So this book is called Hiking Day. Now this is not specifically an Earth Day book, but I thought it was a really nice book that uh, kind of has to do with things we can do for Earth Day, right? So this is about um, a family that goes on a hike, which is something that a lot of you do a lot of the time, right? This isn't just an Earth Day activity, but it's something that you can do to remind you about how beautiful our Earth is and how much we want to take care of it, right? So hiking day. Today, my mother, my father, and I are going to climb Hickory Hill. That's the mountain I see from my window. It looks like a mountain to me, but everyone calls it Hickory Hill. I put on sturdy sneakers, find my floppy hat, and fill my water bottle. That reminds me of the hat that I wear almost every day in the summer when it's, the sun is shining. The ride from our house to Hickory Hill takes about 20 minutes. As we drive, I see fewer and fewer houses and more and more tall trees. As soon as we park the car, we check the map to see which trail to follow. Trails are like paths cut through the woods. We choose the red one. It's my favorite color. So there's the red trail right there. Many of you have probably seen trail maps like this, right? When you have gone to different parks to go on hikes. The minute we step onto the trail, we are surrounded by tall trees. We can't see sky. The ground is covered with leaves and ferns. It looks like the inside of my mother's terrarium. It is so quiet. I can hear my sneakers crunching the ground. This kind of looks like it might be fall time in this book, doesn't it? With all the color, colorful leaves and the leaves falling to the ground. As we climb up higher up Hickory Hill, a fat toad leaps in front of us. Ribbit, ribbit, he says. I kneel down to look at him. His colors match the floor of the woods and the tree bark. Why do you think his colors match the floor of the woods and the tree bark? How would that help him? Think about that. Hey, says my father, where is the red trail marker? Uh-oh, mom says, where can it be? Are we lost, I wonder? We look at all the tree trunks around us. Then we notice a prickly porcupine slowly climbing a tree. As she moves up the trunk, I see a red mark appear. I found it! I cry. We begin hiking again. I hear a loud tap, 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 tap. It sounds like someone is using a hammer. A little chipmunk puts a hickory nut in her mouth and scurries through the leaves. Getting ready for winter, my father says. The tap, tap, tap gets louder. My mother points up and I see a woodpecker making a hole in a tree. He is looking for insects hiding inside, she tells me. He uses his beak to make the hole bigger and find good things to eat. Bugs, yuck, say Dad and I. We see some yellow mushrooms and red berries growing on a bush, but that beautiful friendly toad is gone. Maybe he decided to hike down Hickory Hill instead of hiking up with us. Soon we stop for a drink. All of a sudden, I know someone is looking at us. I slowly turn to see a deer with wide antlers. He leaps away so fast that no one sees him but me. The more we walk, the more I notice the trees are not so tall. The ground is rockier. 
Now I can see bits of blue sky and even an airplane flying across the sky. Suddenly the ground below my feet isn't the wonderful isn't the woodland floor. It is a big flat rock. We're at the summit, my father tells me, the top of Hickory Hill. We did it, I say. We all sit down on the sunny warm rock and guess who jumps up to be with us? The friendly toad. So that's just a really good book to help us remind us why we want to take care of our earth, right? It is so beautiful with the trees and the animals, right? And if we don't take care of our earth, those things won't be there anymore. All right, so I just have one thing to show you today. In your packet, you have a book called We Can Help Our Planet Earth. So the first thing you're going to do is write or trace your name on the bottom, on the line where it says name. Miss Mika. There we go. All right, so you can color this book if you want, and at the end there is a part for you to add. So I'm going to kind of read it to you. We can pick up garbage. Remember what the word is for garbage that's been thrown on the ground? Litter, yep. We can turn lights off, right? to reduce using elect the amount of electricity we use. We can turn water off. Now that's something that they didn't mention in the book we read the other day, but we only have a certain amount of water, fresh water on this earth for us to use. So things like remembering to take shorter showers and turning the water off while you're brushing your teeth will help to save water. We can plant flowers and trees. Planting flowers and trees helps the earth too, doesn't it? We can learn how to recycle things. We had a couple different activities this week that talked about recycling. We can donate our old toys and books, right? So that somebody else can use them and they don't end up in a landfill. Remember a landfill is that big pit or hole in the earth where the garbage trucks dump all of our garbage. Yep. We can clean up after our pet. That is another important thing you can do, right? If your dog goes poop, you got to pick it up, right? Can't just leave it there. That makes our earth dirty. We can show and tell others how much we love our planet Earth. And the last page is for you to add something. It says, this is what I can do. So you can write or trace something that you can do to help the earth and draw a picture about it up here. All right. So that is what I have to show you today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Don't forget about uh, packet pickup. All right, from 10 to 12 today. And we have another play date coming up next week. So I hope to see a lot of you there. Bye everyone, have a great weekend.